Good evening, student. Today I will teach you the processing of fiber to the fabric. I am already te teaching you the chapter fiber to the fabric. In this chapter in previous class, I have taught you shearing. What is shearing? Up to this time you were knowing that we were sheep, goats and different types of animal are being looked after on industrial scale as well as on domestic scales for the production of wool. That is the thick layer of wool on the body of sheep that is known as the fleece. Generally summer season we remove the fleece from the body of the sheep shearing. Shearing is the process of removing the fleece from the sheep by using the manual or mechanical razor. Like a human is removing the hair from the head by using the razor. In that, chances of a skin is also to come out in the razor. Similarly, the razor removes the hair from the sheep along with the thin layer of the skin. Now children, after removing the hair, this is the first process. Processing first part, we have six part of processing. First part, searing is over. So searing is a process of removing the thick layer of hair from the removing the fleece from the sheep is known as shearing. Now second definition is scoring. First we do sear, thereafter we do a scoring, then we do sorting, later on combing and other of dyeing and spinning. Then what is that? A scoring. It is a process of, now you see, when hair is removed from the sheep, that is the fleece is removed from the body of the sheep, which carries body iron, fats, dirt, dust. So what we need to do, it needs to be cleaned. So cleaning of fleece, in fact, cleaning of fleece is called a scoring. Cleaning of fleece is called a scoring. This process is done to remove the. A scoring is a process of washing the fleece of sheep which contain sweat, dirt, oil, vegetable matter, grease. It is for cleaning purpose. You can say that it is a cleaning of fleece by removing the grease, oil, dirt, vegetable matter, agricultural waste and unwanted material present along with the fleece. Now you have removed, saved that and now what you have done it? You have done a scoring. I can show you the scoring photographs and a small video on that. Just watch it, how a scoring is done. This fiber that I washed, look how no. clear that water is. It was one wash and two rinses. I put a little bit of vinegar in the rinse, but I used Unicorn Power Scour. And let me show you what this looked like before. So children, please watch. Look how These are the it is and all that. hair of the Poop and animals. Everything in it. Having but different it colors so is taken for with um, unicorn power scour. So if for the cleaning scour, purposes, just like me, these are thoroughly washed. Even it is washed by the manual, washed manually, and by the industrial purpose also. To get their fiber super clean. This is the scouring of wool. Look at how dirty that is, but oh my God! Now these wools are cleaned. White and shiny that is. Look at the difference. So shiny. I mean, you can't get much whiter than this. And it's very soft. 
I have given you this video from the industry. Please watch how you did it. So don't ruin your wools. Learn how to scour them the right way the very first time. You say scour wool like a boss. Okay, no children. Watch and come to that. I have shown you the scoring. Now, third point comes sorting. Sorting का मतलब होता है छांटना। किसी postal department में ambulance department के लोग sorting को अच्छी तरह बताते, बताएंगे वो letter को छांटते हैं area wise। यहाँ क्या होता है कि long fibers is separated from the small fiber, the small fiber also wound when you are removing the fleece from the sheep. You might be seeing the small fiber also comes along with that, along with their skins. So, sorting, it is a process of separating the long fine quality of fleece from the remaining broken piece of fleece. Broken piece, piece of fleece, the shorter fibers and the long fibers are the quality fibers. So, sorting, this is your yes, sorting. So it is a process of separating the long fiber of fleece from the short fiber of fleece or from the shorter fleece. Okay? So have you understood now what we done it? Number one, searing, you have shared the see. The second part, the scoring means you have cleaned the fleece of the hair. And then third part, sorting. Sorting, you have separated the long fibers from the smaller fiber, from the fleece. Now children, we will be going to the combing. What is the combing? You see that? Combing, it is a process of removing the burrs from the fleece. The, what is the burrs? You know that? Very, in normal human you say that we have also the small burrs on the skins like this. Yes, well, these are considered as burrs. The hair which could not be formed here, it is initial state that is burst. When you take out the fleece, along with that burst of the sheep, burst also comes out. The combing is the process of removing the burst from the fleece of the sheep. <coughs> it is the process of removing the burst from the fleece. Burrs are the tiny fibers, knots which comes out during the searing. Burst, what is the burst? But the burst is a very short fiber or knots which is obtained during the searing of seeds. Okay, now come to the after combing, the third part, next part is going for dyeing. Now, what is the dyeing? Dyeing name itself signifies. Dyeing means coloring. We are dyeing the different colors of the fibers. Whatever the color we require as per the choice, we can turn change the color of the fiber and we can get the, the that colored woolen the woolen fiber we can get as per our desired color by dyeing chemically the dyeing is the process of coloring the fiber which is obtained from scoring sorting and combing so this becomes your dyeing process is it clear now, let me see, I will show you the small dying activity in the video. Now, see that, how the dying is being done. This is a woolen fiber you are seeing in the container. So I just stick it in there and let it sit for a while until it is saturated with the water. Now that it is, I am going to slowly start to heat this up. I just put it on medium heat. I put the lid on and keep it going until it's kind of at a simmering just below a boil. Right now it is not hot, so I am just trying to make sure it is up to temperature. So one at a time I'm going to start layering in my dyes. I don't really have a method to this. Um, you can tell. Um, and I want to add a water. It really carries it. It's just really fun to see what happens. They are using heat for dyeing purposes it's also for permanent colors. colors. Um, again, because I'm a, Did the I'm chemical dye? Time to move around, spread around. And...
So these are permanent in nature of color. We are using the organic dye. Tezo dyes are also used for dyeing these purposes. Even in the small market also so people use for the chemical dyes. I have a lot of dye in there so I do just want to let it sit for a while. Let it simmer and I know that those spots where the dye touch first are going to be the darkest and it just slowly seeps into the rest of the fiber. I then can take my mixing spoon and these are just my special dyeing equipment, not yeah, household things, dye. and just gently tap the you can take the dye because I know it's been about half an hour and I'm checking it and I can see how I could add more colored. So now children this cloth is dyed you got the dyed color different colors after, after dye until the water runs clear and the soap is off so now the next part our comes after dyeing we require a spinning a spinning means fibers are twisted to make the thread a spinning is a process in which the fibers are made to twist and form into the thread. The threads are used for kneading purposes. In the different meals, single thread is used for knitting, and large number of threads are used in the textile industry for making the fabric. So children, we will show you now what is a spinning. A spinning is a process of twisting the fiber to make yarn. And then yarn is taken for the fabric. Please watch the what is the spinning, how the activity is there, definition you have remembered it. Now look at like this the spinning is being done. The fiber is made into the thread. But I will explain it. I will try to show you so how the thread also will be going for the manufacturing of fabric. Now see the yard is being worn up on the spindle. देखो मिडिल में जो स्पिंडल है इसी पर यार भी कट्टा होता जा रहा है ओके चिल्ड्रंस लेट मी प्रोसीड टू दैट सो आई हैव शोन यू द डिफरेंट प्रोसेस बाय द डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द डिफरेंट इंडस्ट्रीज हाउ दे आर डूइंग द सीरिंग स्कोरिंग सॉर्टिंग कॉम्बिंग and dying and spinning. I told you what the last my process was a spinning. So let's once let me recap the things. Recap means first one was searing. Searing was process the of removing the thick layer of hair from the thick layer of hair from the sea. That is known as searing. It is done by the manual laser or by industrial laser. Second comes the scoring. The scoring is the process of washing the fleece and removing the old dirt, oil, vegetable oil, grease matter. It is a process of cleaning. That is your scoring. Sorting. It is a process of separating the long fiber from the shorter one or from the broken fibers from the fleece. And the fourth one, you will come combing. Combing is the process of removing the burrs from the fibers. And the last one, fourth one, then dyeing. Dyeing is the process of coloring the fibers by the chemical process or even by the natural process. After dyeing, is spinning. A spinning is the process of making the yarn from the fibers. And after a spinning, what you will do? I am going to show you and just see that.
So I have told you with the synthetic fiber also how the rayon is being taken out. It is like this. Uh, this rayon will be allowed to pass through the AC. Now children see how the fine rayon is being taken out through the spinorite. Uh, this rayon will be allowed to pass through the seed. A seed it will study. It will be solidified. It is also a artificial fiber. See, these are the fibers. It is being taken out for making the textile. Now look at this, these are the different fibers are going into the industry. I am showing you with a small industrial visit. And now these are the fibers. Fibers are made with the yarn and these yarn are on the spindles. Now look at Okay, children, you have seen that these are the. So you have seen that that these are the spinning process in which the fine fibers are made into the thread. Yarn and yarn is used to manufacture the fabric. Or in single yarn is used, then we say that it is knitting. Thank you. We will meet in the next class with silk. Please remember and do our questions.